Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the Minecraft Let's Play series, episode 40. Three. The last episode, we set up this wonderful map wall. It's really cool. I really love this wall. And honestly, after the episode was done, I literally stood in front of the map wall and just kind of looked at it for a good few minutes. Don't have an exact time, but it was a bit longer than I should have. And then I went caving, like I said. Uh, seven diamonds, and we're making a pick. We're trying to get a good pick uh, again. Oh, like that. Fortune 3, Efficiency 4, uh, where'd it go? Uh, unbreaking 3. That's a pretty good pick. That is that is something I'm going to save. I combined two picks to get this Efficiency 5, Unbreaking 3 one. That's going to be kind of my work pick for now at least. But today, uh, this is different. I finally fixed this, fixed the front of it. I just copied the side design. Nothing too crazy or too different. And I think we're going to go a little outside of the box for today's episode. Uh, this side of the swamp has nothing done to it. You know, I kind of realized that when we were making the map wall and just being over here. And there's nothing done. So I want to change that today. And this is the spider farm. Uh, the poison spider grinder. I'm not going to go down there right now. Maybe I will later. But uh, we set this up earlier. And this is what I usually use for grinding. And it needs a marker. And what could we mark this farm with? The the spider farm could be marked with a spider. Yeah. Thankfully, concrete is a thing now. Because otherwise I'd have to be doing this out of out of uh, wool. And that's not an option. So I now have to turn all of this black concrete powder into concrete blocks. And I still don't have like a factory or a plant to do this in. I think that would be a genius um, idea though to add into our world. So it's something that I'm gonna have to get around to, but for now we'll do this old fashioned or it's not really old. So this new fashioned way of making concrete. So for the spider spawner grinder, I was looking around at this side of the swamp and I realized there's kind of this natural, almost like a river coming in here. So we're going to use this natural river as the divide. We'll probably try and decorate this little area by the end of the episode and make this like a spider island type thing. But for the spider, we're of course going to do like a 3D spider. Now the dimensions of the spider... That's what I'm a little unsure of. In a creative world before this episode, I played around with some designs, but I wasn't, like, too successful. I was kind of successful, and I know I want to work with an odd number, but I don't remember... Hmm... I'm not too sure. We're just going to go with it. If I am correct about a spider's body shape, it has three sections. Uh, that's what we're going to go with, at least for this design. doesn't really quite matter. And the back section will, will be the biggest and a small one, and then the head. These are the dimensions I'm working with. We're going to have this 7x5 back part. This this 2x3 middle, and then the head is uh, 4x5, I think. So what I want to do now is build these up into squares. I don't think we're going to have a square-shaped build, but if I build squares, then I can round them off and shave off the corners and make a circle a lot better than I could just trying to freehand a circle out of these small, small shapes. But... Happy October, everyone. I I thought this was a fitting way to begin the spooky month, Halloween being in this month. Halloween used to be my favorite holiday. Well, that and Christmas, of course. But Halloween was always really fun to dress up and stuff. I don't I don't know. It's just that time of the year. I'm feeling feeling spooky, I guess. The squares are done. We have a cube spider now. No legs, just a floating cube spider uh so now we need to round this thing out and make him less boxy less less minecrafty for once in this game when i build these giant things kind of like the snowman i don't necessarily enjoy boxes so how i'm gonna do this is well we'll start with the back one i guess um if we round the corners off like that perhaps and then on the top I would say that 
that's pretty like like realistic looking it works we're gonna go with this i'm gonna chop these quarters off but then on the the face that's the smaller square so let's see what could we do here if we have the face here we trim that off can we do the same exact trimming i don't i don't know well i know i want some eyes on it maybe i put the eyes on and and see what it looks like um did a little bit of reshaping on the thing still looks awfully boxy at the bottom maybe that one extra block is fine maybe we add that block like i just did uh for a mouth i i think i'm just gonna leave no mouth like this and we'll just kind of imagine one but the legs are actually going to be the easier part i think on this spider and i know that this middle thing is awfully boxy but i i can't really do anything with it i guess i could do that but that makes it look a bit weird so we're not going to do that but for the legs they're going to be pretty scrawny legs pretty pretty tiny legs something like that but definitely way less boxy honestly something probably like that would do that looks like a leg and especially from the distance this thing back here will look like a leg ah uh, not the best view this tree will go away but there's the legs on half of this thing if you can tell uh seeing past all of this immense blackness they're just diagonals nothing too crazy complex and fancy they're a little thicker in some places like here i probably don't need that but it's just a lot of playing around with diagonals so i'm gonna make something like this over here watch this boom something just like this uh the legs are not touching the ground everywhere because i wanted to make it kind of look like uh, the spider is walking it is moving maybe it sees something over here that would be kind of kind of cool to to maybe add in in the future something that it's looking at but i i don't think that's a bad start or or finish to this spider so now like i was saying the spider needs to to like be a little more creepy um its surroundings need to be a little better than they are here so we're gonna make a little bit of a custom biome i think but here we go the spider is a is a black widow spider now i guess but we need a custom biome which is gonna be actually i think pretty easy we're gonna make this as creepy as possible so creepy to me spruce trees dead trees um spider webs maybe a building over that a small building but that's what we're gonna go with first we need to get rid of all of these torches the torches cannot remain a thing you know just thought about it while i was removing all of the torches and getting ready to put pumpkins in maybe pumpkins are the last step like we get everything in here first then we put in pumpkins that might make a little bit more sense so that's what we're going to go with so we're going to add a small bridge in over here i think we really just need it too wide nothing too big and fancy but i want a creepy looking like like not high tech and fancy and up kept bridge but something to walk across so not a bridge really with like holes in it or anything but just a small dangerous bridge small and dangerous enough for me now moving on to the next part which is probably a building here just a small small tiny building um, something to prevent mobs from just wandering down there i want to go with a like a like a worn small house looking like style of build if that makes sense this is pretty small so i've never done a build exactly quite like this but i'm feeling pretty confident about the build itself um that's a chimney okay i don't usually add chimneys to the build but i'm trying to get a little more detailed here and i i think it works pretty nicely the house as a whole doesn't really look like out of place doesn't really look odd it's not huge which is exactly what i wanted and i just am pretty happy with how it turned out but there is one final touch i want to add i want to add some some iron bars in here just to make this even more like creepy from the inside we can't do a window there unfortunately because that is where the chimney is but what i'm thinking instead is a ledge just like that and the ceiling's gotta change 
Yeah, something like that. That is pretty basic. So here's a creepy spruce door, and that is that in terms of this part of the build. So now what we need to do is the trees. I want to build some custom dead trees in here with, with the dark oak wood, and then I also want to grow with some bone meal. Just a few spruce trees. I don't think we need any giant oak trees. That'll go in the water around here. But some spruce trees would be nice for our little little creepy setup here. Uh, man, um, the custom trees are something that I've never really been very good at. Uh, the spruce trees are wonderful. Those look great. But uh, the custom trees that I was building, this one and that one, they, they just don't look that good. I thought about maybe adding a little bit of leaves to the tree, but that didn't... Didn't really look that good either, so scrapped that idea. So there's a dead tree. There's another dead tree. I really don't want to block the spider off. So in terms of dead trees and spruce trees, I think honestly we're about done. So I have some spruce leaves that I want to throw in here. Then we're going to bone meal a bunch of this stuff and just get this all grown. We're going to kind of just stop around here where this, uh, this island kind of curves back. I might come and terraform a river into here or something or just put a wall here and separate that but i don't want to like expand this whole forest area way too much another thing that i do have is cobwebs though cobwebs can definitely go decorating around i went into the the cave system mine shaft and got some cobwebs but not a whole lot so we just have a little bit but we'll work with what we have Oh, and another thing that I was thinking is throwing in a little bit of soul sand here and there. Not a whole lot, but just a tiny bit to kind of create some like rough spots because we don't have any pods all to come in and do this with. So just a tiny bit of this stuff will will do nicely. And finally, a little path added here with the with the concrete powder. Now it's pumpkin time. Finally. Just know that I will later come in here and replace all of this covering of the pumpkins from trapdoors to dark green wool. That will match the swamp perfectly, but we just still don't have a sheep farm. There's no sheep farm in the world. The very final thing that I want to do to this area is bone meal. Of course, we're going to bone meal up all of this area that is always my final step or a step in building and detailing you, you got to have all the plants in here and everything's got to be nice and alive easy as that everything is nice and alive everything's looking great and wonderful here now and just in case you're curious maybe you never saw the spider grinder here it's a double poison spider grinder it is insanely efficient and I've been emptying the string and kind of just throwing it out, honestly, because I've been getting so much string. The the eyeballs I've been keeping, but it's really efficient. It's very nice to have. So with all of that whole creepy area looking all creepy and, and, and fresh and pretty much done, uh, happy October, everyone. We go to our final part of the episode, and that is Sir Knight. You left a comment, uh, I think, on episode 41, saying, hey, maybe a little less uh, a little less concrete powder. I had asked you guys, and you said a little less, and that's what I did. It's just slightly less. Like, I would say I replaced maybe 10, 15 blocks in here with path blocks, and it definitely looks way better. I just really like how this stuff looks like mud. Just like this whole combination here. But thank you for that comment. You are on the support wall. But that is all we are doing today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed episode 43 and that evil spider that we just made. Let me know what you think about it. Is there something else I should add to the world? What do you think we should do in front of the cactus farm maybe? Give me some kind of crazy idea you got or whatever you want. And like I said, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Waddles. I will see you next time. Goodbye.